so I'm 35. You are a mother? Yes, this is, is my your... son, yeah. My son, uh, who's gonna be nine next week. Uh, where are you from? So we are from Kherson. This is the region where, they're just like, it's uh, in a circle of Russian troops, uh, our whole town, and actually the situation is crazy there. Um, we call friends, we chat with them. Fortunately, we have connection with them all the time. And so they share very, very scary things. Very scary things. Because right now civilians are under attack as well. So everywhere, not only in Kherson region, everywhere. Civilians, not only the troops, not only the strategic places, everything. They're just crazy. And you know the data about losses, right? So among civil population and among children. So per, for the last, um, a couple of days, 14, 14 children were killed already, so it's, 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 I don't know, I can't even express, I don't have words to express that. The neighborhoods which are before the uh, city itself, the town itself, they were under attack and all people were evacuated from there. So my parents stayed there and they are in the basement for three days probably already. So, and my relatives from no, uh, they have little uh, basement and they stay there. Uh, but sometimes they are cold and uh, they can also go to school. There is underground shelter. So um, on, uh, they sometimes are cold um, or TV just says go to the shelter. It's the um, we were driving from Kherson to Chernovtsi about 29 hours. Yes, and, and so we called one family, they um, gave us time and space, we had to sleep a little bit. We called another family, and so um, not a big house, and there are 20 of us right now, and just two of us left. So there are some more kids, and my niece, who is under one, and another niece who is 14, they're still there. So they're trying to, maybe they're thinking to leave or not to leave, they just don't have another place to go. Uh, I'd like to tell a story, a little story about the orphanage in Kahovka. So um, this orphanage was founded probably 16, 15 or 16 years ago by American guys and I was working with them um, partially uh, and still it's working up to, uh, up to day and for now uh, there are about 50 children who are um, on, in the underground, I mean in the basement for these couple of days already. And so the director of that uh, place, she's just trying to provide the food, uh, the food and somehow to heat up the building because children start coughing, it's not so <coughs> clean there. So you can imagine the situation because nobody was prepared for that. So, and it's it's very, really hot. But unfortunately- so those children are staying in a basement? In no? a basement. So, so 50 of them? 50 of them. There are 50 of them and they're staying in the basement. Basement and sometimes probably they go up, maybe to change or something. I hope so. Uh, Open it should save itself is located on River Dnipa. And it's just like on the palm, you know, they're open to any, I don't know, to anything, to any attack, uh, they are open. Not sure, don't have a lot of information about it, what's happening right now, but I was sad that it was really difficult to find food for them because they're just cut off uh, and our Russian troops are there from the day one. Your hope for the future of your child? You know, it's, <laughs> it's very difficult. I'm gonna cry probably right now. And I just want him to go to school, to his own school and to live in his own town. That's probably all. And the future, good future. Guys, help us and help us to build our, build our country from the beginning. And please help us finish all this, I don't know, all these terrifying things, which are unfair, real unfair. So please just help us and join us. Copiii ucrainieni au nevoie de ajutorul nostru acum. Ajută și tu! Trimite acum un SMS cu textul Ucraina la 8845 și donează 2 euro în fiecare lună. Sau donează acum pe unicef.ro. Îți mulțumim!